Day three of our centre parks holiday. This is my charging room because we're in a, a four bed lodge and we only need three rooms. So I have this whole charging setup where I can sit on this bed, use my computer on that bed and charge all the cameras and everything. It's excellent. That's not specifically what this video is about. This video is about day three of centre parks. We're off out. Shenanigans afoot. Probably shut the curtains in the charging room in case anyone walks by. Don't, don't need them to see all my all my gear in here. It's actually quite a pleasant day again. From where we are in our little lodge with all the trees around us, it looked really overcast and cold and rainy. It's definitely rained overnight, but actually out and about in the sun, it's another lovely day, which is not too bad, considering this week was supposed to be rainy and rubbish the whole time. But it looks like at the moment, we're getting away with it. But me and Short Stay, we've had a slight change of plan this morning. We are out and about. Here's Short Stay. We were going to do crossbowing at the archery place, but when I got the confirmation email through, it said, be aware, from some, from some parts of the park, the crossbows are up to a 35 minute walk. We looked at the map, we're about as far away as you can possibly get. So we assumed we're the 35 minute walk away. We didn't really want to walk for over an hour to do half an hour of firing crossbows. So we've canceled that, got a 64 pound refund on the crossbows and reinvested five pounds 75 in a game of pool, which is only a 10 minute walk away. So we're now wandering down to the sports bar where we can have a game of pool. Could us be in sports people. complete as you would expect the uh, the result doesn't matter it's just important that everybody had fun now we're off to the shops little baby critters i do like a baby critter grab beverages from the shop tell you what this slope we just walked up that's a workout well i've just spent three hours sulking about the draw i had in pool with short stay draw yes draw. i decided it was a draw in the end because um, I potted the first black, yeah. so that makes it a draw. We're now going out swimming and then straight onto Las Iguanas, which means these two over here get their first exposure to sunlight of the day as well. It's half past three. We've had a very lazy day of just sitting around, not really Some doing very much. I like to do that. Yeah, I know. I'm not complaining. Anna sent me for a nap because I was getting too boisterous. Hey, well, you weren't moving. <laughs> yeah, I got boisterous, then I got sleepy. So I was sent away and I had a nap and I am fully refreshed and ready to swim for like 40 minutes until we have to get out. We're doing exercise. Yes, well you'll be doing exercise. The rest of us are getting plenty of exercise just on these walks. I did 22,000 steps yesterday. That's more than I did at Disneyland. Aquila fitness. Aquila fit and Aquila fitness. What he said. Are you in your spot? Yeah, we're doing some more wavy pole. Yeah, some, we went to see the wave machine, which was better. More another wavy pole? We can, some what? More wavy pole in You wanna go and see the waves again? He won't go in the wave pool, um, but we just went and had a little look at it. So maybe by the end of the week, we might actually get him into the wave pool. And waiting for the wave pool apparently in 15 minutes. So fingers crossed, we might actually Get him doing waves. Oh, this is new, he's never wanted to come this deep before. Uh, Andy, you alright? Are you okay? Here you go, waiting for the
<laughs> I got that one on camera. As we stepped out, it was raining, so we went back in and put our ponchos on because we were prepared. We have ponchos. We've just come back out again and it has now stopped raining. I'm going to keep my poncho on because I think I look really cool in mine. Uh, but in other news, I don't know how much audio the GoPro can pick up, but excitingly, as you'll have just seen from Chris's expertly edited together water montage, second montage of this video. That boy's earning his keep. Um, Andy just went in the wave pool, which he's never done before, ever, ever, ever. He has always hated deep pools. He's always hated wave machines. He doesn't like the sea. He wanted to go in there and he insisted I film him in there as well. Brilliant. We're back in there tomorrow, more wave pool. And now we're off for dinner at Las Iguanas and I'm very excited. If my knee wasn't ruined, I'd have been in those rapids. Alas, probably a bad idea. As much as I love rapids, they will probably hurt me. Where are we? The plaza. The plaza, exactly. And then upstairs is where we're going for dinner. I'm not sure if there's an elevator. I am still fascinated that there are hotel rooms at Centre Parks. I never knew that was a thing. What drink have you got? Wait. I've got crisps on top of mine. You've got a passion fruit cooler, which has passion fruit. Is that half passion fruit on top? Nice. I have an apple mojo -less, which is a, a mojito style mocktail, which is basically apple, lime, mint, all my favourite flavours, all in one icy, icy glass. It's probably like one mouthful of liquid in there. <laughs> Andy's fish fingers and chips arrived and has been rejected. I don't want that. I don't want that. Thank you. Stop putting it in my drink. It keeps throwing crisps in my drinks across my food. I've got some calamari. Anna has the... They are not how they were in London. They are just cobs of corn. They were little cut up ones when we had them before. I'm not amused. That is not what I promised you. So the rest of the food is here now. Anna has a steak somewhere. Short stay also has a steak. Those. I know, look, that's not what they're supposed to be. They're lazy, they've not done them right. They're not getting a tip now, the monsters. There's also a quesadilla over there, rejected fish fingers. I have a Cuban sandwich and some calamari. I want to come and play football pool tomorrow. We're having an ice cream from Refresh. It's absolutely thundering down the rain now though. So I think we need, at the very least, to eat these before we go anywhere. I'll tell you what, I was a little skeptical about spending a tenner on a pack of ponchos off of Amazon, but they are brilliant. As soon as you put them on, the rain just stops. They are fantastic. What an invention. You look stupid, but they control the weather. We are back. Um, <laughs> Andy's ruined us. He, uh, before we left, he fiddled with the thermostat. It was set to 25 degrees. We are melting, we just walked in, opened all the doors and windows and everything. Dave is only just hold on, held on to this cable. He actually chased a squirrel this morning and snapped it, so we had to reattach it with a different part. If anyone from Centre Parks is watching, if you're gonna call these dog friendly, Put a little fence around him so he doesn't have to be on a cable the whole time. That we brought from home because we anticipated this might be an issue. Um, otherwise we just wouldn't have been able to have the door open and we would have melted in this situation. Dave, 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 come on, back in. I'm running off around the front of the house. Yeah, you're not running off around that way. But yeah, it's so hot in there. Luckily it's not raining anymore but it is meltingly warm in there, so I'm gonna stand out here. Did you just bring a cushion out? You're such a bummer, David. Urgh. It is nearly seven o'clock. I think we're gonna call it there on this video. Huh? What are you doing? Being a weird dog. Is he tangled around the cable funny? <laughs> um, I'll come and sort him in a minute. We've got one, one more full day, so that'll be next Tuesday's video, and then the final day as well, so we will, uh, We'll crack on with those shenanigans next Tuesday. Toodle pip, everybody. Thanks for watching.